Hey everybody, Lee Frazier here, Maya Technical Specialist for Autodesk. And in this example, I want to take a look at a way of using the Node Editor to set up an efficient distribution type for MASH that gives us some control and makes things a little more efficient when it comes to animation and providing some control for certain types of effects. So what I have are two different MASH networks. I've got a bottom half and a top half. Each one of these has been set to grid distribution type. You can see over in the attribute editor that um, I have control over each one of those and you can see not only can I control the number of points but also the distribution and translation of those. But what I want to do is control both of these with a single grid distribution type. And to do that, I'm going to go into the node editor. We're going to hit the F key by selecting my nodes. I'm going to hit the 2 key and you can see the information that gets passed from the distribution node into the MASH network. There are output points that pass to input points and the waiter message, messages get passed between the two. And what I want to do is essentially just hijack the output points from one, doesn't matter which one, they're both grid networks. I want to hijack the output points to the input points and the waiter message to the other waiter message and just like that I have now given myself the ability to control both sets of geometry with a single grid distribution type. Now this is pretty cool but it's not much different than if I just selected the single object and created a distribution network for that. So I'm going to undo back to at least just this nice clean neat starting point. And what this allows me to do though is control this top half with separate nodes from the bottom half but still maintain the distribution in terms of the number of points and the distance away from each other from the bottom half or any other uh, node that I happen to want to pass along to both sections or both networks. So let's take a look at what this would look like in a practical example. So if I take my bottom half and go into my repro mesh, a lot of times you've heard me mention that I tend to use simple geometry for prototyping and then I use the final geometry in the example itself. So here I'm going to take my bottom half, I'm going to take my body and middle mouse button drag the geometry that I have hidden in the scene on top of that line here and you can see that's going to replace that and then I'm going to select my top half and go from that distribution uh, or that top half repro mesh and drag the helmet on top of that line and you can see I've created myself a little bit of a problem. Again, I still have control over the grid distribution type, but now I want separate control over the helmet in order to put it in the correct location because it wasn't when it was brought into the scene. So if I select my top half and I go to my waiter node, I can click on the offset node and then just quickly type in a value in the Y direction. Maybe pull that up just a little bit more and then type in maybe an offset scale just to sort of accentuate that uh, bobble head effect. And now I can, I can do lots of things. I can go in and take my bottom half. I can change the distribution um, values just like we did before. But I might want to, prior to doing that, since this is pretty heavy geometry, one thing that MASH lets you do is go into the utilities and change the instance type or the geometry type. And I'm going to do that for the top and bottom half just in order to speed things up a little bit. I can always go back to geometry if I need to. But in this case, this will allow me to speed things up. I can stretch out where these guys are located in space and I can increase the number of stormtroopers that go into my network and then separately I can take the top half and add another node that will give me a different effect for maybe the head so let's add a random node to the head we'll turn down the position and maybe we'll change the rotation values um, and we can even change the Y values if we wanted to do something silly so all of that is a really good example of why you'd want to use the node editor to control some of your MASH distribution types and control some of the ways of um, working inside a MASH network and creating some setups of your own. Thanks for watching.